Is there anything more powerful than someone with dreams? Dreamers dream big, especially a child full of dreams and hopes for a bright future. With the talent and motivation, who dares get in their way? Children often dream of big things like touring the world in the coolest and most talented rock bands. Maybe that was just me. I mean, these amazing rock bands. Or maybe your music hopes and dreams look more like this. Sellout crowds and chart-topping songs. All the fame and fortune a person could ever ask for. But then there's a special breed of dreamers. They crave not just victory, but the spotlight and immortal glory. Picture this, the clock ticking down, the tension rising as one player holds the ball in the most crucial moments of a playoff game. In that instant, they become more than just athletes. They become legends born with ice in their veins and fire on their fingertips, carrying the hopes of an entire team and fan base on their backs. It's a moment where time seems to stop and the world holds its breath. These are the NBA playoffs' greatest moments, where heroes are born and dreams are shattered. Let's start with the GOAT, in player where Clutch is his middle name. When he was drafted by the Chicago Bulls in 1984, he was read marriage vows. He vowed to be Clutch in sickness or in health, until death do us part. He honored those vows all throughout his career until the last dance. One of the most unforgettable moments in playoff history was the flu game. Game five of the 1997 NBA Finals. The series against the Utah Jazz was tied at two games apiece. MJ was rarely ever considered an underdog in his career, but in this series between games four and five, he developed flu-like symptoms. He had a 103 degree fever and was staggering, dehydrated and looked overall exhausted. The first quarter, he seemed completely lost, but all those symptoms seemed to fade temporarily as he amassed a 38-point legendary performance. Then, with 26 seconds left, he made the dagger three-pointer to end the game and led to the famous clip of Scottie Pippen carrying his lifeless ragdoll teammate off the court. You would think it doesn't get much better than that for the airman, but the following year in a rematch final series against the Utah Jazz, the Bulls are leading the series 3-2. Game 6 is a very close back and forth matchup. The game is 86-85 in favor of the Jazz. The Jazz have the ball and they give it to Carl Malone with 22 seconds left to seal the deal. Except Michael doesn't allow him the chance to do so and makes a steal to save the game. He dribbles down the court and never even considers passing. This is his game to win or lose. That's when he made the shot heard round the world to seal his sixth NBA Finals win. He never let a final series go to Game 7, and he never lost in the Finals. Another player who never lost in the NBA Finals was Robert Ory. He won seven NBA championships as a member of three different teams. His clutch shooting sparked some of the greatest NBA playoff moments and sparked his nickname, Big Shot Rob. Some say it's better to be lucky than good, but in this unforgettable moment, Ori was both. As a member of the Lakers in the 2002 Western Conference Finals, they played the Sacramento Kings. The Lakers were down 2-1 in the series and needed the win desperately. In the final seconds, Kobe Bryant drove the lane and missed the layup. Big man Shaq gets the rebound and puts up a quick shot that misses. That's when the rebound is slapped out and lands in the lap of Big Shot Rob. He always seemed to find himself in the right place at the right time. Like in overtime of a 2-2 final series against the Pistons, the Spurs were down two and desperately needed a bucket in the last 10 seconds. That's when Ori's clutch shooting struck again as he hit a three to put them up one and seal the game. Stephen Curry knows exactly how to backpack an entire team in the biggest games. He had some of the most memorable games in recent playoff history. In the 2022 NBA Finals, the Warriors faced the Boston Celtics. The Warriors lost games one and three. They were in Boston for game four in fighting to even up the series. Curry hurt his foot at the end of game three when Al Horford landed on it. It didn't seem to bother Steph in game four and he lit up the scoreboard. He played 41 minutes and made 14 of 26 shots, seven of those from the three-point line. 
Boston had the best ranked defense, but that didn't stop Curry from having a legendary performance and putting up 43 points, which led his team to victory. That game became the tide turner in the series, and the Warriors won the next two games to be crowned NBA champions. What a legend! Which one thing we know about legends is one insane performance is never enough. Last year, Curry decided to outdo himself when he scored not only his playoff career high, but he set the record for the most individual points in NBA history in a Game 7. Curry dropped 50 points on the Sacramento Kings in Game 7 and led a memorable comeback in the series. The Warriors were down 0-2 and had to get difficult wins on the road to complete the improbable comeback. The man's unreal! But this year's playoffs were a different story. The Kings were able to get some revenge on the Warriors when they beat them in their first play-in tournament game, 118-94. Curry had a decent game, but none of the rest of his team did. The other Splash brother, Clay Thompson, completely disappeared and opened a donut shop. We will more than likely see a very different Warriors team next year. Another all-time memorable moment where the Warriors were on the short end of things was the 2016 NBA Finals when LeBron James and Kyrie Irving brought the Cavaliers back from a 3-1 deficit against the Warriors. This series came down to a very close Game 7. LeBron James passed the ball to Kyrie Irving in a tied game and left the fate of the series in his hands. Curry stepped up to guard Kyrie during this pivotal moment. This one-on-one -on -one dance ended with Kyrie hitting the biggest shot of the series with a step-back three. This sealed the finals win against a Warriors team that went 73-9 during that season. Just three years before that shot, a miracle happened in the 2013 NBA Finals. A miracle shot that changed the series and altered the NBA as we know it. This Finals matchup was between the San Antonio Spurs and the Big Three Miami Heat. In Game 6, the Spurs all but secured their fifth title win. The Spurs led by five with 28 seconds left in the game. Many of the Heat fans had already left their seats and headed for the exit. The Heat inched the game within three points. That allowed one final opportunity to push the series to Game 7. That's when LeBron got a three-point opportunity with 11 seconds left, but missed. Bosch rebounded and pushed it out to Ray Allen for one of the most iconic shots of all time. The shot went in and pushed it to overtime. The Heat rode the momentum of this miracle shot and won their second straight NBA championship. One shot changed everything. One shot, known famously as THE shot. It was known as an origin story for the legend of Michael Jordan. Jordan was drafted onto a less than stellar Chicago Bulls team. In his second career playoff series, MJ found an opportunity to show us the type of player he was destined to become. In 1989, the Bulls were up against a very talented Cavaliers team. Game five came down to the very last seconds. Chicago was down one point, and that's when Michael Jordan dodged multiple defenders to launch a shot around the free throw line to ice the game at the buzzer. This moment sparked the start of a career for the ages. Here are some big time honorable moments that will never be forgotten. Game one of the first round of the 1995 playoffs, Reggie Miller scored eight points in nine seconds to beat the Knicks. He made a three point shot and then a steal that led to another three pointer. Three point line and hits the game! That pulled the rug out from under the Knicks and allowed Indiana to win the game. The Utah Jazz fought hard each season and never could make it to the NBA Finals. In 1997, the Jazz found themselves on the verge of their first Finals trip in a series against the Houston Rockets. That's when John Stockton received the inbound with less than three seconds left. He pulled up in a tied ball game and made the shot that sent the Utah Jazz to their first NBA Finals appearance. Do you know who has made the most game-winning buzzer beaters in NBA playoff history? I will give you a minute. Surprisingly, it's not Michael Jordan. It's not the truth himself, Mr. Paul Pierce. It's none other than LeBron James. He's made five game-winning buzzer beaters in his career. MJ has three, and Damian Lillard and Paul Pierce are tied with two. LeBron has been involved in the most memorable moments in playoff history. He's also secured some of the most memorable performances in playoff history. In the 2016 NBA Finals, LeBron James scored 41 points and had 11 assists in Game 6. He also had four blocks and three steals. That pushed this comeback series to Game 7. In Game 7, he pulled a triple-double with 29 points, 11 assists, and 11 rebounds. 
Then he also had three blocks, which one of which was the infamous chase down block on Iguodala. The block that nobody saw coming in a tied game in the final minutes. That all set the stage for Kyrie to win the game. For many, his most memorable playoff performance was in game five of the 2007 Eastern Conference Finals. LeBron's Cavs were in a two games apiece series with the Detroit Pistons. The game went into double overtime and LeBron scored the Cavaliers' final 25 points to seal the win. This win allowed them to take a three to two lead in the series and they wrapped up the series at home in game six. This was LeBron's first Eastern Conference Finals appearance against a team playing for their fourth consecutive Eastern Conference Finals appearance. With this year's playoffs upon us, it makes you wonder which player takes that next step in cementing their legacy. It's all about these kinds of moments when true legends are born. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more outlandish basketball content.